All right, so my name is Herb Barbuti. Uh, been this show for about 18 years. Definitely wish I knew some things uh, in the beginning that I know now God's taught me. I'll just say a few of them here. Um, one of them is the importance of discipleship. I wish I had understood uh, the Jesus model. I've taken on whoever it is that God gives, you know, for Jesus it was 12. Um, but finding those people, and really, you know, uh, missions can seem a lot about projects and doing the stuff, and it is. We, we do a lot of that, a lot of feeding and, and you know, mercy ministry, and, and that's an important part of God's heart. But he spent his time and his energy pouring into these 12 men. And so, you know, and, and at the end of his life, I love that he, you know, when he's bringing this back to God in, in John 17, he looks at them and he's saying, Father, those you gave me, I kept. And so sometimes in missions, we have all these people, we're reaching out, we're preaching, we're doing big events, and God's doing miracles. Jesus had those things as well, you know, and we can get really disappointed when it doesn't bear the spiritual fruit we want to see. Um, but Jesus, even though he had all those things, at the end of his life, he's looking to, Jesus, to God, through the Father, and he's saying, those you gave me, I kept. And so really, the prayer and fasting around the people that God brings is so essential, that we're actually aware of God bringing those people to us. And I think that helps on two fronts. One, it helps to, do, you know, to really... Uh, minimize some of that number of those people, the influx of people eventually that start coming, uh, and especially in times of popularity. You know, Jesus had that in his ministry, you know. And so you will have that sometimes in missions as well. It becomes kind of popular. You've gone through some of the pioneer stuff. And really being a man of or woman of fasting and prayer where you are constantly before God on every decision, especially who you're bringing into your team, who you're pouring your life out into. Um, and so, you know, at the end of his life, he says, those you gave me, I kept except for the one destined to destruction. And I love that the foreknowledge, he's seeing what's going to happen. He's aware of that. Um, but he's letting the, the wheat and the chaff grow up together, wheat and the tares. And so, um, I think as, a, as leaders, we need to be able to do that. We need to be patient with wheat and tares, and we want to be careful that God gives us people, right? Um, even people that test our leadership, that test our ability, that cause us to grow, maybe even people that are going to turn their backs on us. That doesn't mean it's not God is not working in a different way for our benefit through those people. So I, I wish I had known this. I hope you guys can get a value for discipleship about, you know, and, and really being people of prayer and fasting as we're making the decision of who to bring on the team and then making that a part of our success before God, where he goes, it's so beautiful. Go, God, those ones you gave me, I kept by the name you gave me, which wouldn't be our name in this case. It would be Jesus's name. Uh, and they're going to produce fruit. So I love that. I hope it blesses you guys.